this is a Yamaha 2006 150 two stroke. This is the oil reservoir on the engine itself, obviously. And this little switch right here is an emergency switch that will allow you to pump oil into this reservoir from the oil tank inside the boat. If you develop a problem with a sensor or there may be some other problems that you could bypass. You could also test the motor and the pump assembly that's located inside the sub oil tank, which is inside the hull. I had some problems with that myself and I couldn't find very much information on it. So I thought that I'd make a little video and share it with everybody else. Maybe it'll help y'all out. So inside the hull here is my sub oil tank. It's got a sensor and a motor and a pump. You fill the oil into this tank right here and then the pump and the motor on this sub oil tank, pump it up to the reservoir on the motor and the motor injects, the, that pump injects it into the motor itself. So I'm gonna abbreviate this a little bit, make it, uh, I've already had this tank out uh, but I'm just going to kind of see if I can do this without too much trouble holding this camera. So there's a single 10 millimeter bolt that you have to remove right here. And then this strap that goes across the top of the tank. Lift it up where you remove the bolt. It's got one little lip that catches. You can remove that. <clears throat> this plug right here connects the 12 volts from your battery. Two wires go to a sensor, a level sensor inside the tank, and the other two wires go down through the side right here to your pump and motor. So it's really easy to unplug this sensor. There's one little catch right in here. If you can raise that up, and then just unplug it. Set that over out of the way. Unplug your oil line, plugs in right there. That goes from the pump over to your engine. You'll wanna be sure and keep that clean. Cover the end of it so that you don't get trash in that line. And then you can pull the tank out Take it over to a workbench, someplace where you've got a little bit of room to work. So this is the culprit, in my case right here. This is the pump that you can actually see, all the lines. This is an inline filter right here. You fill the tank, it sucks the oil out of the tank through this little line, through the filter. Goes into the pump, through, pump pumps it through, back out, and then this line exits and goes up to the engine. So this pump and motor right here, it's got another little plug where you can disconnect the motor and the pump from the incoming wiring harness, which is also connected to the sensor. You got one common plug, two wires to the sensor, two wires down to the motor. This motor and pump are held in place with just a little rubber grommet that, that goes around the 12 volt motor. It just fits into a recess of the oil reservoir. But once you have the reservoir pulled out, this whole pump and motor assembly is simply pull out of the tank. You can cut these little tie wraps loose 
pull the hoses loose. When you get the new pump, just put it in place, put the hoses back on there. They always recommend, if you've got it out, replace this little filter right here. Uh, in my case, this pump was $177. The filter was, I think, $14. The mechanic I spoke to recommended to replace these lines as well. Each one of these was about 10 bucks. So, uh, for, I think it was about $250, including tax and shipping, I got everything except the sensor and the tank. So, uh, I hope that clears it up, makes it a little bit easier, less complicated for somebody else somewhere down the line to understand exactly what's going on with your Yamaha direct oil injection system. Thanks.